Hello people, my name is Rage and welcome to Layers of Fear. This is a thing. So this game then is a very interesting one. It's basically a horror game revolving around paintings. But that kind of makes it sound lame, like there's just a dude drawing stick figures and going, Huh! This one! And you're like, oh god, that's terrifying! And really, that doesn't seem wildly exciting. But no, worry ye not. For this game has a really cool, I guess, aesthetic and style to it that hopefully we shall see. Now, I am very excited to start, but I'm also a little bit apprehensive to start because, you know, as as with scary games, I I don't deal with them fantastically well, but but hopefully we can, you know, come together as a strong, brave unit of people and torment I have to endure. Lovely I still hear the scratching in my head. Deeper and deeper and my hands cut so many times on broken bottles. Okay. Each night drowning in a cold sweat. Yep. But there is a way. A way to bring back what life took from me. The only precious thing. Every portrait that is painted with feeling is a portrait of the artist, not of the sitter. I like that. That's a very ominous introduction and here we are then okay i have to say from the very get-go that this is very nice visually like there's something just really do i not have a reflection do 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 i am i a vampire no because if i was a vampire i'd be able to conquer everything so i guess that's not true that's you know, if someone said to me, today you're going to see a half-naked baby get picked up by a hawk on a cliff in a stormy day, I would have said, oh good, I like it when that happens. But yeah, visually, instantly, I'm very much liking what I'm seeing here. And that was a very nice, ominous introduction. So based on this game being all about paint, the layers of fear, I believe it's probably, you know, pertinent I focus on any given paintings I do find. Okay. So, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm liking this. The voice acting wasn't terrific, but it wasn't bad, so I've got nothing really against it. Okay, an artist triumphs. Snitched out the gallery opening. Wows. Critics. Uh, lovely. I do like wowing critics. They're, they're just the best people. Dear sir, we would like to ask that you cease bothering our pest control specialists, as we will refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. Have you know that the, my mother is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to such accusations. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of any kind, and as such decided not to act R during rather further dur- This is a smudge, okay, and I can't do English well than a prophylactic spraying. Uh, please treat this letter as a final warning or else the next envelope you'll receive will be from our lawyers. With best wishes, Carl Anton Pesky Pest Specification Co. Okay, so I guess that's not good because it means that if there's no inf infestation then whatever's causing spooky things to happen it's um... it's spooky ghosts, so that's lovely. Okay, I very much like being able to Look at things like that. I can't really make out that writing. But yeah, look at this. There's some very high quality model and texture work going on here that I have to say is quite impressive. It's a very clean game. That's I think that's a good way to describe it. It's I'll admit, there's something very difficult about trying to do a first impression-y, review-y type thing in a horror game. Because I spend a lot of my time absolutely terrified that something terrifying is going to happen mid-talking and I'm going to look like an incompetent fool! Okay, so again, we've got paintings everywhere. I guess that makes sense. Flowers, nothing that sinister going on. But I mean, with this guy that was monologuing and we've come home, so I suppose that's to be expected. Is it just our house? Do we live here? Or are we 
supposed to be visiting or investigating. I mean, there's lots of alcohol on the floor, which I assume is due to this guy being a raving alcoholic. I mean, I can only deduce as such. So, you know, it's probably not necessary, but of course there is, you know, the horror game handbook of shut every bloody door that you don't want something creepy suddenly attacking you from. Now, I'll be honest with you, I have no idea if this game even has, air quotes, a creature, a spirit, a thing. I have no idea what kind of uh, enemies, or even if we can die, or if it's just a spooky investigation. I literally have nothing to go on, so I kind of do like that we're just presented with this suddenly eerie house. I didn't touch the workshop. You like, just like you asked, although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. So I assume, yes, it is indeed locked. So I also further assume that everything's going to very much hit the ceiling when I go in there. Maybe a quick... Oh no! No, I am not a vampire! Guys, I'm not a vampire! Can confirm all is well with the world. So I can turn on the tap, because why not? I guess every good game does need you to be able to uh, turn on a tap. We've got a below the knee prosthesis, that's really good. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Nothing crazy in the cabinets. I do like there's a lot of stuff you can interact with that there's absolutely no reason for you to. I was also very scared that that wasn't me making that noise, but I think I have figured it out. It was me. Got candles everywhere. Fortunately, we don't have a creepy basement to go down in, and we do have a rat trap there, so it's evidence that people really did, at the very least, at the start, think it was rats. Ah, uh, that's okay, alright, we'll turn that on, have a look. See, I guess, I guess the main deal with me then, oh wow, yeah, I don't know how I'm stood on this without completely decimating my entire feet and, and well-being, so I'm just going to leave that cupboard of death and walk away. See, I guess the thing is with this then, if no one had told me that this was a horror game, I'd just be merrily gallivanting through, there is a creepy cellar, you know, you know, we, we, will, we will leave the creepy cellar for the last area. I'd rather go to the creepy upstairs before the creepy cellar. A lot of pictures, but I guess that is to be expected. So, if I had to guess, I would use the pictures as a sort of focal point distraction to do jump scares on the player. Because that makes sense, you know. If, if you know the game's all about art and artwork, and then you have a weird picture that you know someone's going to get distracted by, I mean, that's kind of the perfect time to put their worst nightmare behind them. So that's, that's kind of okay. That door looks like I don't want to go near it. I mean, it's damaged and covered in blood, and I feel like, generally speaking, Horror Game 101, you don't go into the room that's both damaged and covered in blood. <laughs> I never was a good piano player anyway, you know, it wasn't really my style. Oh! Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It was just a door. You know, those those pesky doors and, and how they open, you know, as is their function. That's absolutely okay. Uh, some dogs over there. Because the thing is, I really want to spend time actually enjoying all of the scenery here. Because it is actually beautifully well crafted. Sorry, I just keep hearing every sound and thinking I'm going to die. Also, I know for a fact that a game that's put focus on outwork is going to have paintings that move and change and become horrific and watch me, so I'm just waiting for that to happen. Like, absolutely. And I can't really tell if that one's doing it, because if you stare at a painting's eyes and moves, it appears that it watches you anyway, so I don't really know what to do here. So we have the story of the Red Riding Hood. Oh, quite quite a grisly telling there. Fairly, fairly grisly telling. I mean, that's that's a little bit graphic. That is, I mean, her head has been ripped off, as, as you do. We have acquired the keys, though, so we can at least go to the colour room of death. 
which I imagine is also the colour room of story progression, but we don't need to talk about that right now. And I have to say, this game is doing a wonderful job of really conveying a true horror atmosphere. I, I feel very much wrapped up in the atmosphere, just the ambience, the sounds of the glass crinkling and cracking as I walk on it, the gro groaning and creaking wood, the rain and thunder, and it's not even that dark or spooky a place. It's just, it's just well very well made and put together. Do I want to go in the creepy kid's room of... You dropped your ball. You, um... You dropped your ball, ghost kid. You, you dropped the ball. Well, that's not creepy at all, is it? A eerily grow glowing pink kid's room with loads of dolls on the shelf that I have a feeling are going to watch me in a second. That's not at all worrying. There's nothing ominous about this room. I mean, why would there be? It's just a dog and a cracked painting, and there's an eye on the left of it, but I guess that makes sense because, you know, someone is clearly holding the dog. I'm just going to shut that door. I think that's... That's okay. You know, I think I think none of you are really going to blame me for leaving Hell Child Zone alone. Okay. We still have the death door. You know, we, we have some very distinctly horror-centric areas of this house. Let me just shut that. You know, we don't want to... Don't want to let anything have an easy time here. So this game as well is going to end to early access in about a week, which is something you should look out for. Look at that. It's very nicely made so far. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm doing it. I don't know where I am, but it's done a beautiful job of make oh, you, making me kind of want to find out. You know, you know what they say. Bottles are very scary. I do have a problem with bottles falling on me. It's uh. It's 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 an old it's an old condition. It's it's called bottle folly phobia, and I think everyone has a little bit of bottle folly phobia. Do I actually want to do that? I feel like I don't want to do that, but at the same time, that's nice. Nice little bit of music there. You know why not? Why not have a nice little bit of music? That's absolutely a okay. All right, blood room of death. I guess, I guess I got nothing else to do. Oh, good, you're locked. Oh, okay. All right, that's, that's absolutely fine. I'm, I'm very happy the blood room of death is, is locked. I mean, I'll probably have to go in there at some point. I mean, we can only hope that I don't. But that's all right. So have any of these paintings done anything suspicious. I mean, this is a prime candidate for changing. I mean, that guy looks like he can't wait to become horrific and have a laugh. All right. Yep. Of course, it's midnight as I walk in here. Let's close that rather rapidly. Oh, you know, just a brutal murder and a weird donkey fish desert sand crawler. Do you know what you do? Oh, the room from the main menu. Now that's pretty cool. And yes, yeah, certainly very messy. We got the naked baby again. We got some sketches. So, clearly a lot of artist work going on here. Okay. Lots of information to find. I feel like I don't want to take that off. I have a feeling when I remove... I, you know, I think my videos are all right, but if I mean, if you really want to tell me to get it right this time, I guess I'm not doing something correct. All right, more, more of them. That's okay. More of them. That's fine. Okay. I was about to ask. Why does it sound like hell itself is coming out of that chest? I want it back, you hear me? I will bring you back. Drag if I have to. I will make it right, honey. I promise. I will make you right. Okay. That's normal. 
That's normal. That's normal. All right, well, into the breach we go. Oh. Okay. Lovely effect on the cloth there. So... Do I paint? I kind of want to paint. There's just a red... Is that... Is that I feel like... I feel like something awful should have happened. So obviously someone was sat in this chair and he was painting them. Presumably his wife then and he's, you know, a little bit upset. She's, I guess, taken by the devil. And, you know, as you would be. You would be pretty upset. I... I just... I felt like there was going to be something demonic on this painting. I felt like there was going to be something... Really quite... Terrible, but... Oh... Oh, the house has changed. Of course it has. You know, as houses do. Spooky. Spooky ghost houses. What are they like? Silly spooky ghost houses. Oh, you. Okay. Guess we don't need to go out the window. It was just out of reach. You know, it's... It's fine. Did we take some massive, copious amounts of drugs? I can only think we've taken a massive, copious amount of drugs. Oh, good. Good. I mean, we must have paid extra for the architect to uh, install some neat shifting corridors. You know, very labyrinth-like. I'm, I'm kind of excited. I mean, he must have, must have the money to afford such extravagance. Going in circles. Yep, that sums up a lot. Well, it's a bit of light at least. There we go, more more rooms of of gloriousness. More hell whispers as well. I love hell whispers. Okay. Four eight five. The baby still looks pretty unhappy, so that's fine. Oh, I see. Alright, so four. Why are we opening the Hell Whisper box? I feel like we don't want to open the Hell Whisper box. The past holds back. Look. Alone, the most beautiful Close. Piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? Yep. Anyone else freaked out right now? Because... I am. I guess a rocking chair rocking by itself's normal. I mean, it's in the name, isn't it? Oh, dear. <laughs> and that looks like a very 3D painting. I kind of like that. That's a cool effect that they've got going on there. Oh, no, it is actually 3D. It's just a doll thrown against a wall. Never mind, eh? Oh, wait, no, it might not be. No, no, it is just just a doll thrown against the wall. That's fine. Well, we could play some dominoes. We could just have a nice, calm session of dominoes. That makes all this better, right? That definitely makes all of this better. I can't do anything with you. Can't do anything... And I can with you, but it doesn't really matter. Okay! Trapdoor to spooky painting cellar! I don't have any form of light, so I guess we're just... We're going in blind, quite literally. Good. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I have an idea. First of all, it's... You guys judging me, or...? Yup! I mean, in my defense, the only reason that didn't scare the hell out of me is because the one thing I predict is a sudden terrifying painting changes. So at least I got that going for me. 
which of course is nice. It's it's spotted. Oh no, hang on. Here we go. Here we go. Secret levers. Open it. I worry where we're going to end up. Oh, back in the back in the deer room. Okay. Do we do we leave again and then have some more shifty? We do. <laughs> All right. So I think we've reached the point where we definitely have seen a good amount of this game to know what we're in for. I think we have. And I have to say, so far, it is wonderful. Wonderfully intriguing, very visually nice, and very compelling, and a crushing atmosphere, which is the hallmark of very good horror games. I'm thoroughly impressed so far, and I can't stand horror. I really can't. Let me know what you guys think. Remember to like it if you've enjoyed this, and would you like to see more? Maybe this could be my next horror playthrough. Maybe it really could, but... I guess we'll have to see how it goes. It's very, very intriguing. I don't like- OH! ALL OF THESE ARE DOUBLE PAINTINGS! Now, a tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. <laughs> okay! That's fine! That's fine. My name's Ben Rage. I'll see you next time. A good boy. What will happen in this house? You